Hello, hello, hello to my dears out there. We are just gonna add Lihaha in the chat here. As I screen record and learn this world over here. Um, okay, hello, hello. Hi, Chrissy. How's it going? Liha, there you are. <clears throat> Nervous more than ever. It's so weird. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Hi, Liha. How's it going? I'm like super nervous right now. I don't. It just like came over me. I'm like, whoa. So I'm <laughs> so that. I'm like, I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. I know. Always like within those first few minutes of going live, you like you get all jittery, and it's okay. It means that you care, so it's uh, it's good. I'll take and, that. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good thing. Yeah, and happy Saturday. It's so good to see everybody. Hey, Christina and Laura. Good to see you. And Miss Hill here, too? Uh, she was coming in. I'm not sure. Awesome. Well, good to see you all. Happy Saturday. Saturday. Right here. Um, okay. So it's not letting me screen record, but that's okay. We'll have the IGTV here. Um, Got it. Yeah. Sounds so good. hi, PJ. Hi, Christina. Hey, guys. Hi, Hill. Hey, Laura. Cool. Hey, Hill. A whole family reunion here this morning. This is so cool. Tori, nice to see you guys. This is like, I was telling Mia and uh, Laura that I'm like really nervous too. So I was hoping that maybe we could like be all together collectively, take a couple of breaths, kind of ground into our day, ground into our energy before we introduce Leah even. Because um, I'm really excited to share her with you guys. She's so special to me so we just gonna get kind of comfortable i know i need this more than anyone <laughs> Maybe we are, I'm sure. um but yeah just getting comfortable and closing your eyes and just feeling our body here and grounding through our tailbone and just taking a deep breath in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth and again, inhaling. And exhaling. And one more. All right, back in the body. Yeah, so good. I think all of us needed those deep breaths. It's been a crazy couple of weeks, and I don't know about you, Anissa, but it's like you're trying to slam everything in before the holidays and for before the end of the year so it's yeah it, all of us need those deep breaths just to woo, chill yeah. out for it's a lot it's a lot happening m minus the whole year that we've just had but now it's like the holidays so it's a fun exciting yeah. time but it's also like just a lot a lot of yeah. energy which is good it can be fun yeah. too how we shift it which i guess we'll get into later but yeah. uh <laughs> really? Really? yeah so this is my dear friend Lee Ha Ha. I love to call her. <laughs> She's a good one. I know. Older. That's so funny. I and don't even remember how. Okay, I don't even remember how that Lee Ha Ha came to came to be. Do you? I it's vague. It's very vague because I feel like a lot of those words is like ten years ago almost. Um, but I yeah. feel like it's like just because you have such a bright like fun energy and like there's always like a laugh with you. I that's what I was maybe the girls or something else, but like that's what I remember. It's like just hilarious. Always like laughter, always fun. Lee ha ha like the way we say it, so if you guys have to call it for real her name by that it's Lee ha ha <laughs> Okay, we're gonna Yeah, I'm still remembering this. It's so Oh my gosh, so funny. Good memories. Uh, it's, yeah, like we, we traveled together in New Zealand. It was such an amazing time together. I, I loved every minute uh, of it there. So, well, it's fun yeah. times, yeah. yeah. And so Jobby, you ended us. That was awesome. Hey, Chris, good to see you. My husband just hopped on. Hey, Hi, Chris. <laughs> nice to see you. It's been a long time. Oh my God. Really long time. Um, so yeah, welcome, everyone. That's 
came to join us. Thank you for being here. It's a really special day. We've been really excited about this for a while. Uh, Leah, Leah, sorry, Leah, Leah, yeah. Leah, and I have been uh, talking about this for a while. And actually, when all this is kind of coming up, uh, she was my first person. Was like, I want to talk to Leah on here. I feel like her knowledge is going to be so prevalent to not only this time, but also so much around like where we're going with um our mindset with feeling drink our feelings in our body around food mainly um so we're going to talk a little bit, bit about that but do you mind telling our friends here what exactly you do on a daily day or um on a daily day <laughs> or what exactly you do i'd love to tell you what i do on a day to day <laughs> So I'm a, I'm a registered dietitian and I help busy women eat better and think differently. And I think that's really come together over the years. Because uh, somebody asked me this question the other day. They're like, how did you even get into this field? So I started in North Bay and I did a Bachelor of Science up there. And I did a lot of biology and some psychology. And I took some animal behavior classes, which is super interesting to me anyways um I, didn't know that. And I feel like that completely it just it was a great starting point for me and it really evolved because I found myself so interested in how the human body works and our behavior as well and then I got into the nutrition field because I found out you know how our body works and how nutrition play such a vital role in it it uh, it just brought all the pieces together and I found that just fascinating and seeing how much of our our eating behaviors and our eating patterns are controlled by our brain and how much of our uh, our attitudes and our beliefs towards food um like they're all it's just incredible how our upbringing with food and everything like that, it stays with us for our entire life. And, you know, I, I just help women become more aware of their own eating patterns. And I, you know, I just help them find this healthy balance and this empowering relationship with food, eating and, you know, and their body. So it's been amazing. And I, I just love getting into that really, you know, deep and that quality conversation with people and just seeing what makes people tick and how we can work together to change their habits and their mindset around food. So it's really, really interesting. And I absolutely love, I love it. I, I love it. That's what I, I love so much because you can feel your passion for it. And that's when, like, that's when I feel called to you because I'm like, oh, okay, because you, you're doing exactly what you love. It's like you're, we call it Dharma, but like, uh, exactly what you feel like you want to share with the world. And that's when it's so from a heart space and, and you just want to share this knowledge with the world. It's amazing. Because so many of us on the planet, myself included, like all the time, uh, to, like feel a certain different pressures from society, from the way we grew up, from everything that's come up in our reality till now and beyond. So it's, I think, so important to just what you pre not preach, but like speak about and teach. Yeah. It's so important because it's like a shift. And we'll get into that in a second. I'm really curious what you to say and the tips and tricks of that as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. And it's so true, right? And I mean, like everybody, I mean, all of us here can probably relate to feeling some sort of external pressure or, you know, just that societal pressure around how we look and what we eat and, you know, what makes us, I don't know, like what we should be doing, like all these shoulds and all of these pressures, and it can be completely exhausting. And I think too, what's so, it can be really tough, right? Because we see all these images like social media and just, there's so much garbage out there. There's so much garbage. And I find that the, a lot of times, you know, I'm working with women and helping them just like, I'm breaking down myth after myth so that you know, we're not left questioning our choices when it comes to food, because you ever find that, right? There's so much conflicting information out there. It's like, well, like, I don't even know what to do anymore. So it's yeah. just, 
you know, it's, I feel like that having the nutrition degree and just knowing the, the facts and me sharing that with people, it just, it's just like, Oh, finally. Like I, I feel like I, I'm comfortable and confident with my choices. So there's just, there's so much. Thing. Like that's a huge thing. Cause it, and that's what I love so much about watching your stories and watching your content. I am like, yeah. I love, and we talked the other day about this too, like, it's just about labeling foods as bad or good. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like you take that away. It's like, oh, you can do that? So we don't have, you know, it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's so wild. I love it. Yes. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. And over my years, I mean, oh my gosh, like six or seven years of talking to hundreds and hundreds of women that have struggled with, you know, just food and their body and just trying to find peace with things and find real solutions that work, uh, that are sustainable. And I mean, like, this is real life. Like, and food is so enjoyable, right? It's so much more than just food. Like it's love, it's connection. It's like, it's just, it's so much more than just, you know, the action of just putting food in her mouth and chewing and, and swallowing, right? It's, uh, there's just so much to it, memories. And I mean, it's such a perfect time to get into this because Christmas, I mean, this is a joyful and merry time. There's food all around us. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to get into it. Uh, yeah, so the other thing, question, I guess, is like, how do we prepare for our the holidays how do we get into a good state we're going to be set up for a good state of mind while we're around all this you know chaos lovely chaos but you know lots yeah. of lots of options too i know like holidays are a little different this year and not so many gatherings but for me i feel like uh when there's so much food i'm like oh i gotta sign up right so my brother's calling of course christopher <laughs> <laughs> he's like uh, um yeah so like there's all these options and I'm like oh I want to try it all and there's yeah. like an instant feeling of guilt even before I've even tried it which is just ridiculous and shame so do you have any suggestions with like how to kind of even if we're not going to our like regular gatherings that we go to but still have the idea of like okay I'm gonna probably eat more just because it's the holidays you know mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah for sure and I think too just like I always like to remind people, it's like, what are the holidays really about for you? And especially this year as well, like it's been such a weird year and yeah, it's going to be smaller, right? There's not as many people around, but really um, just remembering what the holidays mean to us, especially this year and just being resilient um, and really reflecting on like how each of us have you know, it's the experience this last 10 months of the pandemic and just seeing, like, I'm sure all of us here, like, we just see a change in our, in ourself. Um, there may have been a lot of growth, a lot of self-reflection, but just, you know, like, we made it through. Like, here we are at the end of 2020 and just really remembering, um, you know, like, what does this time of year mean, mean to you? And just reflecting and being thankful for our health and our, you know, our, our whatever brings us happiness and even our, um, like our mental health as well. So keeping those things in, in mind, like what, you know, what Christmas really means to, to us. And food, it brings such a, um, it just, there's just something so, I don't know, comforting and warm and inviting around food. Um, but then on the other hand, too, it's like, oh my gosh, there's so much here. Um, you know, not wanting to, to overdo it or feeling guilty or, or shameful around uh, our choices. So here's a here's a couple of things uh, that I have come up with. So, you know, just some secrets to letting go of uh, any negative feelings. So this one thing can can really help. It's just the the mindset. So instead of thinking as food as good or bad, just thinking about it as food is food. You know, just removing that that label, because as soon as you slap on a label, it's like, well, this food is good and this food is bad. And, you know, when we have a good food, it's almost like, yeah, good for me. I'm, I'm good today versus, oh, I have bad food. Now I eat this bad food and I just like 
swallow all the badness and the shame with it, which is so not helpful. So just looking at it as food is food. Gold, pure gold. That is like, if we can just remind ourselves, can you just stick with us all the time and be like, yes, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, it's food is food. Yeah, because, like, I feel, like, you're so right with, like, oh, I have a good day. So I'm like, oh, I feel so happy and proud. But then it's like, on that day, you're like, I'm an asshole to my body, you know? Like, yeah. like, wow, these just, like, limiting beliefs that, like, go into our body and then create a vibration in our body. Yeah. Cool. No bueno. No, no bueno at all. So the, just that that mindset and going into Christmas, like, okay, there's all these amazing foods around and it's just like food is food. So another tip that I, I like to share with, uh, you know, with my peeps is just giving yourself permission to enjoy, enjoy your favorite foods. And I mean, with the, the spread of, you know, Christmas yummies around sometimes, I mean, I don't like, I don't know about you, but sometimes there's, there's foods that I'm like, yeah, like I can easily pass that by, but there's other foods that I'm like, like, yeah, like that is my jam. I am so going for that. Whatever. Like eggnog square, but you could, like, I could easily leave, I don't know, like the candy canes or something else (laughs) for for another time. So, you know, just giving yourself permission to enjoy your favorite foods. I, yeah, like, and, and just being mindful and loving every minute of your choice. Cause it's, you know, it, it's your choice. We all have a choice uh, around food. So enjoy that choice. Cause yeah, Christmas yummies. I mean, they're, uh, they're amazing. Right. Like, and it, it's so enjoyable when you can actually enjoy them. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. we bring all this uh, chaos and like chatter in our mind to, to like around food, then it's like not as fun, you know. I know and that is our theme here with eat, drink, be merry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to just really invoke that joy sense, like you said. Yeah. Hey, Ashley, good to see ya. Um. So I guess is there a way we mentioned checking in before? Um. Is there a way that kind of you do like what do you do to kind of check in with yourself and your we were talking a little bit before about like physically emotionally like how that kind of kind of plays a part as well and just like the awareness piece yeah yeah so the with with checking in with ourself um I, i always like to check in with how you know with hunger with hunger cues so for and it it can take it can take practice for sure and that's one of the things that I help women get more in touch with is our hunger and our physical hunger because I don't know about you but if we're going into a Christmas dinner and we're hungry when we arrive there oftentimes we can eat more than we intend and our food choices may change so really checking in with your your hunger and what I like to do. Well, actually, here's here's something. What not to do this uh, this holiday season? <laughs> do not <laughs> do not save up your calories to you know go overboard with your Christmas dinner. Like there's so many you know I hear so many times like, well, I'm just gonna skimp out throughout the day with all of my nourishment so I can just go buck wild with Christmas dinner, and that mentality can. You know, it's that mentality can just lead us up to, you know, maybe eating more than we intend and then feeling overly full and leaving us feeling uncomfortable. And you're like, I'm not enjoying this party at all because all I want to do is unbutton the top of my pants and I don't know, sit here and fart for the rest of the night. Like, (laughs) (laughs) so, right? (laughs) That helps you to lose. (laughs) So true. So true. So, you know, nourishing your body throughout the day, uh, you know, having your breakfast, your lunch and your snacks so that you're feeling nourished when, and you're feeling a little bit more calm and at peace before you go into a a Christmas dinner. So yes, the moderation piece. Yeah. Moderation piece for sure. So do not, 
you know, save up your calories to go buck wild, um, you know, nourishing your body throughout the day, having that, uh, variety of different foods that you like. And when you arrive at a Christmas meal, cause I don't know about you, but like when there's so much around, like the variety, it's just like, you feel like a squirrel, right? You're like looking here, looking there. Like yeah. All these things. That's a good analogy. Like you're like, like you get there, like, okay. And if you are hungry, it's, yeah. Okay. Keep going with the squirrel magic like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, about squirrel. Um, so when you arrive at a, you know, Christmas meal or whatever, and I, you know, and I have a feeling like the food's going to be good this year, right? Cause there's just a, uh, less of the holiday parties and we have more time to like make good food and spend more time in the kitchen be creative so when there's so much variety I always like to just take a breath take a pause before you even grab your plate and just take a look around to see what's available Mm -hmm. so you know kind of taking an inventory of what's there because this strategy you know can really work when it comes to you know, choosing the foods that you really enjoy. Because if we're at, um, I don't know, like I'm thinking more of like a potluck buffet style, like we grab a plate with the, without even looking down the table. <laughs> it's yeah. just like scoop, 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 scoop. My plate is full. Like I'm like, things are overflowing. Like I'll come back to that one later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back to that one later. So I always like to just take a pause and look to see what is available before because then you can like it's um you know you're just making more of a thoughtful and intentional you're just being more intentional about uh, about your choices so that's something that can really help take an inventory of what's there and you know pick and choose around those options that you're like yeah I really I really like that one so I like that a lot, and I think it's yeah. just, like, it's simple advice, but it's, like, something you don't really always think about, I don't think, when you're yeah. there, you know? And I love what you said, like, just intentional. Like, I think it all comes down to intentional. Yeah. A lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Because when we're just, like, high, flying high and, like, getting up this, like, kind of out of body, not really, like, grounded because you're nervous or there's like, all these emotions going on, even if you're excited, it's, um, I think you're not completely using your intention wisely of like groundedness. So, yeah, very good. So point. true. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, it's that impulse center. We've got a, we've got a center in our brain and it manages, well, I'm not saying manage, but it just plays a big role in that impulse. And that, that impulse center in our brain is, is intertwined with, um, the pleasure centers and reward and learning and memory so it's really interesting when you you know there's all these amazing foods and smells and sights plus you throw in like a family member that just like totally rubs you the wrong way uh there's stress and like whatever it is like holidays holidays are holidays but um yeah just you know (laughs) yeah you know i'm just wanting to bring up like when we're talking about this this fall yeah. earlier, and I was like, yeah, it's all of this, like, fear, anxiety, shame, yeah. guilt, it's like, uh-huh. like, or there's also, like, because I'm like, but the emotions bring up a lot of emotions, and we was like, they also bring up, like, joy and excitement, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's like, it's just where your mind goes, it's like, yeah, it's the point, it's all about invoking where you're, that joy, and, like, how you want to, like, exactly go up, right, because yeah. I'm, like, already forecasting for my, you know, obviously I do have fun through it too, but like, there's like that shame already coming in when I just draw a pattern from before, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point, right? Um, you know, you, like, just learning from our own experiences and our history, right? If we, because I, I mean, there's, there's people in my family too, like, you can kind of expect what kind of conversations you're going to have with those people, or if, I don't know, like everybody's got one of those aunts or family members that always has something to say about, I don't know, like physical appearance or something like that. So kind of, you know, knowing and kind of, yeah, knowing what to expect, but also how to respond to something like that. Because, I mean, making comments around a physical appearance, like those can be really, 
they can be very hurtful. They can be completely unproductive conversation. And quite frankly, they can be very inappropriate. So, you know, we're not, this is not the time to say something about, uh, you know, like body shape, size, physical appearance, like making another, um, you know, compliment about like, wow, that color looks incredible on you. Or like, you know, giving your family member a hug and saying, you have been my rock, you know, during this time of, of year. Not commenting on, like, I don't know, not commenting on their, their body shape and size, but commenting on a, a quality that really just makes them important uh, in, in your life and just showing that appreciation there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, as, I, as you're saying that, I'm imagining, like, you know, rose co- colored glasses that look away, you know, just like, cause it's all how we perceive it all. Right. Like we can, yeah. there's so many thoughts that come through and it's like, okay, well, which one feels a little bit more like heart centered direction of like, okay, there's going to be like a good outcome here instead of like a more separated place of like, you know, like not so, not so nice. And maybe that not really detrimental, but like just in a way that doesn't help people. You know, because this is all the season of love and the season of being yeah. together and joy yeah. and merry. Exactly. Yeah, let's eat, drink, and be merry. Yeah. Eat, drink, and merry. Cheers. Um, and so you also have a recipe. It's very simple. I still haven't made it yet. Yeah. But yeah. I absolutely have. So I have the ingredients, not much, not many things. But like, can you please share that with us? And, yeah, and yeah. Feel sure. Better. Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, just some some exciting and fun examples for, you know, just keeping the holidays healthy and, and balanced. Hey, Teresa, good to see you. Uh, the, the recipe that I wanted to share today, super simple, but I don't know if you guys like Terry's chocolate orange, but that combo of uh, the, yeah, the, the clementine and the, the dark chocolate. So what I've been doing is grabbing clementines at this time of year, peeling them and, um, you know, like just peeling them into those individual uh, little segments and just like melting. What's up? What's that? Sorry. I, I saw this like meme one time. It was uh, Ralph from the Simpsons and he's like, I just can't go the fact that oranges are pre-sliced by nature. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Woody was in there. No, that's perfect. Pre-sliced by nature. So take these little morsels. Uh, I just melt down dark chocolate in a microwave, microwave safe bowl. And then I just dip the, the clementine piece in the chocolate and just like, you know, put them out on parchment paper. Yeah, Deb, you like these ones. And sometimes I'll put some coarse uh, sea salt on there. The chunks are so pretty and they just add a flavor to them and they're, they're beautiful at this time of year. Um, you know, we can like, oh, go ahead. And no, I'm, just, like, I'm just, I'm still amazed by just like the ease of it. Like I like yeah. easy recipes and I love that it's like got the fresh, it's got the chocolate. It's just, it's just, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally. It's a good one. And would you be interested in hearing a couple more? Cause I've got, I've, I've done my notes, so I have some. Yeah, some three more. Sure. I'd love to have some more recipes. Okay, so uh, some other little tips and tricks. So you guys at home, if you want to grab a piece of paper and a pen, write a couple of these down. But the the chocolate dip clementines are one of my favorite. The other day, I was actually playing around with Greek yogurt and chocolate chips. So what I can you tell I like chocolate? So I melted down uh, a half a cup of uh, dark chocolate chips, and then I, um, I I stirred in three quarters of a cup of raspberry Greek yogurt. And hey, Jackie, good to see ya. And so the the dark chocolate chips, the um, the melted chocolate with the with the Greek yogurt, mm. mix that all together, stick it in the fridge for about a half an hour, just so that it hardens up a little bit. Pull it out of the fridge, roll it into little balls, and um, just drop those balls in some cocoa powder, and they are incredible. They're like, yeah, they're like these delicious little chocolate morsel truffles, and they're so good. They're so easy. It's only three ingredients. Dark chocolate chips, uh, raspberry Greek yogurt or vanilla Greek yogurt or whatever, like strawberry Greek yogurt, and cocoa powder. And they're so tasty. Like, easy you have. <laughs> so I know. Cool. 
Um, and, and I guess then, obviously you can do it with dairy-free yogurt yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. So you can do a couple of variations there, and cool. you can keep them in the fridge or the freezer, and uh, yeah, they're awesome. So having a variety of different uh, things, and I always like to, you know, I always like to talk about some ways that we can bring in, you know, some more fruits, some more veggies uh, into the, the holiday spread, but making it fun, um, you know, and being creative, right? We're spending more time at home. We've got, uh, we've got the extra time to maybe try some new recipes or just being creative with things. Um, I often do uh, a veggie tray that's in the shape of a Christmas tree. <laughs> so I'll just do like a bunch of broccoli in like a, you know, Christmas tree shape and then throw on some, you know, red cherry tomatoes for the ornaments. And then underneath I'll put uh, cauliflower for the snow. And then I'll break one of those little like chocolate ladyfinger cookies, like ch- break it in half and then make that little stem. <laughs> Yeah. I love this. That is yeah. that's a good artist trick. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Like creativity into it, right? And it's like makes it totally. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Because <laughs> now, like, you know, I that's always something like bringing. You know, I, I usually bring a veggie tray or like a fruit tray or something to to a party because I know there's going to be all sorts of different yummies, and it's always funny too because nobody ever says no to a a fruit or a veggie tray and when I always you know I bring my platter home at the end of the night and it's usually empty or like a couple little you know stragglers on there but yeah they usually go over pretty well um fruit I do a lot of fruit kebabs and I like I made, that uh, yeah like fruit kebabs and um and my sister-in-law actually she's like Leah I just had this amazing idea she just mixed uh it was a vanilla, a vanilla Greek yogurt with cocoa powder. And it's like this amazing chocolate creamy dip for fruit. And it's so easy. So easy. So I'm like just getting this thought of uh, putting your the little, I don't know what you called them, with the Greek yogurt. Those little yeah. on a kebab too. Totally. Um, and maybe like the orange. Totally so you can put them all on a kebab. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Huh, yeah. I'm inspired. Really really idea. Hmm. Yeah, Thank really you. good idea. Yeah, it's very important for, you know, creativity for this recipe season. Yes, yeah, exactly. I'm looking at the time here, too. I want to share just a couple more if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, what have I been doing? Apple nachos. So slicing up apples um, and doing, like, um, I don't know, you can put some... Like drizzled peanut butter on top with some, I don't know, like crushed, crushed nuts or some cranberries or something like that. But just making like an apple nacho plate. Yum. I love apples. They're so crispy and fresh. Yeah. That's a great yeah. idea. And when you cut them thin, it's like, and like, I, I don't do that often. But when I do it, I'm like, oh, this is interesting, you know? Yeah. So, huh. And yeah. peanut butter. Yeah, it's very good. Um, and then I'm thinking too with uh, with fluids, right? It's easy. Yeah, <laughs> apple nachos. Kidding me? Oh yeah, apple nachos. Uh, take pictures and let's see these. The the apple nachos so fun. No, <laughs> please change my life. Oh, Ashley, it's so good to see you here. It's been too long. Uh, fluids, sure, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fluids too. I mean, a lot of us get loosey goosey over the the holiday season, having a little bit. Uh, you know, we we drink more. We drink more around the holiday season, and you know, but keeping that in balance as well. We don't want to be waking up, you know, the next morning just like wanting aspirin right off the hop. So I always like to say, swap out, say a glass of wine for. Um, what I'll do is soda, and I'll throw in some frozen uh, cranberries. Okay. Or pomegranate seeds. Wow. Okay. So it still yeah. feels like a cocktail type feel. And yeah. Then, hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Aaron, wine is good for us. It is. Yeah. It is. It's all <laughs> all in moderation. Yeah. Sip well, do good with wine. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Sip well. Yeah. <laughs> Sip well. Yeah. Sip well. <laughs> I think we'll talk about uh, later too. 
I guess the yeah. Club. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, because I definitely like feeling, you know, like because it's such a kind of short period of time when we're, you know, in this holiday festive spirit. So it's never fun to be like hungover and waste the whole day of like yeah. you know, feeling like shit. So like, yeah, like that to like kind of just bring in a little bit more hydration with it too. I think it's really yeah. good point. Because yeah, why not like, like have it all? You have it all. I yeah. like a little kombucha, such a kombucha freak, but um, yeah, I like post that into between, but like, yeah, it, it yeah. I feel like I would go play a little better, so yeah, yeah, I know, like, when I feel good, uh, I feel like we're getting to a time in our life, too. I mean, in their early 20s, it's like it's cool, I can get through my next day and still party, you know, like three nights in a row, but. Like, as I get older, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's like you just can't drink like that anymore. And it just hits you harder the next day. And it's just like you're asking yourself, you're like, was that really worth it last night? So some, you know, we're we're enjoying responsibly. We're being mindful. And, um, you know, the, the alcohol, it's so like it just brings everybody together and the connection and the, the social piece, too. Um but yeah, just uh, I'll, I'll swap out like a glass of wine with um, yeah, with just like flavored soda water and cranberries and all that stuff. So it can make it really pretty too. Yeah, um, pretty yeah. Isn't it artsy side. Yeah. yeah. So with yeah. any or is that, that's a lot. I know. So I'll just yeah. Okay. There you go. I'm done. I'm if done. you want any more, <laughs> make sure you follow Leah. Check her her uh, page out. You also have a program coming up in January, is it? Another? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I have, I created a five months program. It's a hybrid program. So I do virtual uh, lessons and I've also tied in some one to one uh, coaching calls. So in that program, uh, that's I'm going to be opening up the doors again in uh, in January. So come on over to uh, to to the page and follow me on Instagram. I'll be talking a lot more about that program. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. I've got a bunch just of ladies. Come to insightful there. posts. Like I just I not find seeing your posts come through it just reminds me to be like, oh yeah, it's not it's not good or bad. It's, it's yeah. Just, yeah yeah yeah. Who's who? Who's who? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my right. God. Thank you so much for being here today. It's been a pleasure to have you. Um, I just, yeah, I'm so inspired by you and your Lehigh vibes. Uh, <laughs> and you too. It was so nice to be on here. So good to see everybody, Aaron and Hill yeah. and yeah, it's just so great to see everybody. So thanks for joining us this Saturday morning as you're, sipping your coffee and tea and your jammies and maybe there's baileys in there too we don't know but it's all good yeah i woke up real good or bad i woke up up this morning and uh my husband chris knows that i love baileys and this is like a total thing of mine but he i woke up this morning and there's a big 26 or baileys underneath the christmas tree i'm like oh like (laughs) yeah that's a fun treat I like yeah, that. Absolutely. It's that's just my uh, well, not a thing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, well, thank you guys for joining. Um, so nice to see you all here. I don't know why I can't really see, but oh, there you Hi, guys. Awesome. Um, you guys, um, yeah, we'll definitely be more in touch with Leah, I'm sure, in the future. And yeah, make sure you go check your stuff out. Awesome. Have a good your weekend, and we'll see you later. Yeah, see you guys. Bye, Christina and Aaron. Bye. See ya. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Um. Hello. Hello, hello to my dears out there.